नमस्कार एंड हेलो वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट श्री देवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट इन इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट विथ राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड क्लैरिटी ऑफ कंसेप्ट टूडे इन अवर प्ले लिस्ट इलेक्ट्रिकल मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट वेल स्टडी वेरियस टाइप ऑफ एरर्स इन इंडक्शन टाइप एनर्जी मीटर एंड द कोरस्पॉन्डिंग कंपनसेशन यूज टू रिमूव दो एरर्स एंड बाई दैट कंपनसेशन एंड कैलिब्रेशन आवर एनर्जी मीटर बिकम suitable for accurate energy measurement for lifelong duration let's start old type of consumers or user of electrical energies are charged as per the reading of these energy meters which are installed at their premises these energy meter measure total consumption of electrical energy in kilowatt hours and reading of these meter is used for billing purposes initial and long time all through the service life accuracy of these measurements are very very important and that is taken care in construction design and calibration of these energy meter basically an induction type energy meter is a motor meter it is a form of a two phase induction motor where voltage excitation in shunt magnet and current excitation in series magnet produce two time varying sinusoidal alternating flux around this aluminum disc and induced emf circulate current in this disc induced eddy current interact with these magnetic flux produced by voltage excitation and current excitation and produce a rotating torque by special design and adjustment the driving torque in aluminum disc is made proportional to power flowing in load through energy meter by the supply the rotating disc experience a uh, breaking when it rotate across brake magnet and this braking torque is proportional to angular velocity of rotation and in equilibrium condition when driving torque and braking torque become equal and opposite the rotation speed of disc become proportional to power flowing through the meter and when we measure number of rotations by a suitable resisting and counter mechanism then that measurement become proportional to amount of energy flowing through the meter and we get by suitable calibration direct energy integrated results in this decimal counter now in this motor meter there could be several source of error in energy measurement it could be dust and dirt deposition on this disc surface and in that the presence of magnetic particles over disc distort working flux behavior and cause error in measurement in this motor mechanism this relatively heavy disc when rotated by dry driving mechanism then there is considerable amount of friction that will increase with deposition of oil dust dirt on this bearing surface and by gradual wear and tear of javel support and bearings the friction will increase and will increase error in measurement in resisting and counter mechanism there is several gear meshes and gear trains so improper adjustment deposition of dust dirt and grease can increase friction here and cause error in measurement even the shift in orientation of this meter other than the vertical position will increase amount of friction in javel pivot suspension and that will cause error in measurement so in this motor meter maintenance of long time accuracy is a tough design challenge and regular calibration and compensation of error is necessary for correct accurate measurement of energies construction design and working of energy meter have three different section and there are many sources of error in all three systems driving system braking system and even in resisting system in driving system error may be caused by incorrect magnitude and phase angle of magnetic field produced by voltage coil excitation or current coil excitation in this working space even the distortion of magnetic flux or lack of symmetry metry in magnetic circuit can cause error in measurement in braking mechanism there could be change in strength of brake magnet magnetic field there could be error by change of resistance in this rotating aluminum disc during rotation there exist friction which is a non linear parameter and abnormal high friction 
इन ऑल मूविंग पार्ट इज ए सीरियस कंसर्न फॉर एक्यूरेट एनर्जी मेजरमेंट इवन मैकेनिकल एडजस्टमेंट एंड गियर ट्रेन ऑफ रजिस्टर एंड काउंटिंग मैकेनिज्म कैन कॉज एरर इन मेजरमेंट एनर्जी मीटर हैज टू वर्क इन वाइड रेंज ऑफ लोड कंडीशन इट मे बी समाइम ओवर लोडेड मेनी अ टाइम इट इज अंडर लोडेड देर वुड बी अ वाइड वेरिएशन इन ऑपरेटिंग पावर फैक्टर ऑफ लोड सो इन ऑल दो कंडीशन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ एक्यूरेसी लेवल इज अ टफ चैलेंज एडर मे बी कोस्ड बाई फ्रिक्शन इन मूविंग पार्ट वेरिएशन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी वोल्टेज टेम्परेचर इवन ओवरलोड ओवर स्पीडिंग कैन कॉज एर सम इंटरनल कंपनसेशन कैन ऑल्सो कॉज एरर लाइक क्रीपिंग सो करेक्ट एडजस्टमेंट एंड कंपनसेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मेंटेन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ मेजरमेंट विद इन द लिमिट ऑफ प्लस माइनस पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एज इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द सोफेस्टिकेटेड कॉमर्शियल मेजरमेंट कॉमन एरर इन एनर्जी मीटर मेजरमेंट एंड कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टेक्निकल रेमिडियल मेजर आर एलेबरेटेड एज हेयर वन एरर इन मेजरमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज फेज एर मीटर हैव टू रीड करेक्टली फॉर ओ ऑपरेटिंग पावर फैक्टर कंडीशंस एंड अ सुटेबल डिजाइंड एनर्जी मीटर कैन रीड करेक्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एनर्जीज फॉर ऑल पावर फैक्टर कंडीशंस ओनली व्हेन फ्लक्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय शंट मैग्नेट लैक्स एग्जैक्टली 90 डिग्री टू वोल्टेज एक्साइटेशन प्रैक्टिकली ड्यू टू रेजिस्टेंस कंपोनेंट इन शंट मैग्नेट कॉइल एंड इनहेरेंट आयरन लॉसेस इन कोर ऑफ शंट मैग्नेट द फ्लक्स ऑफ शंट मैग्नेट वोंट लैक्स वोल्टेज बाय एग्जैक्ट 90 डिग्री बट द लैग angle is delta slightly less than 90 now this resultant flux by pressure coil magnet or shunt magnet is made 90 degree to voltage by a shedding band a thick copper conductor loop ring or band is wound on central core of this shunt magnet when alternating time varying flux of voltage excitation links with shunt magnet they will induced emf and current in this shunt emf in shedding band lacks alternating flux of voltage excitation by an angle 90 degree this emf circulate current in shedding band and shedding band by those induced eddy current produce its own flux contribution and this flux contribution vectorially add with flux produced by voltage coil in this working area and flux of voltage coil excitation and flux of shedding band added together here and resultant flux occupy this position which exactly lacks 90 degree to this voltage and this exact 90 degree phase angle of flux with respect to voltage is achieved by adjusting up and down position of shedding coil band around this center limb of shunt magnet now this adjustment by shedding band is known as lag adjustment or power factor adjustment if shedding band is not properly adjusted then if we test energy meter at full load and 0.5 lagging power factor then energy meter will not read correctly so during that lagging power factor testing position of shedding band is adjusted to get energy meter reading in tolerable error or reasonable accuracy reasons when the same energy meter is tested for unity power factor load conditions then accuracy is obtained by adjustment in brake magnet position let's understand that if during testing rotating aluminum disc of energy meter is rotating either fast or at slow speed compared to desired rotating speed of accurate measurement then definitely the recording mechanism of energy meter will record wrong energy consumption readings and we can adjust speed of rotation of this aluminum disc in energy meter by changing the position of brake magnet and by adjusting the braking torque produced by brake magnet we know that when aluminum disc rotates and cross brake magnet position then time variation of brake magnet flux in disc produce induced emf and eddy currents and as per lenz law those eddy currents will act to oppose the cause which is rotation of aluminum disc and a braking torque will be produced by interaction of eddy current in rotating disc and magnetic field of brake magnet this force will exert a reaction on rotating axis at spindle position and force and reaction form a force coupled to generate a braking torque and amount of torque is equal to product of force and radial perpendicular distance between spindle axis and brake magnet position 
if a meter is running faster than required we can move away these brake magnet from central spindle axis and this will increase amount of braking torque and reduce the speed as desired for accurate measurement when the brake magnet is closer to spindle then force and reaction got small radial distance and f and r product is producing smaller amount of braking torque and disc is rotating at a faster speed now to reduce speed we can move away brake magnet and when brake magnet is moved away it will increase radial distance of force and spindle and will increase amount of braking torque and reduce speed of rotation to get accuracy in measurement similarly if brake magnet is moved towards spindle the braking torque will reduce frictional action associated with rotation of energy meter disc cause considerable error in measurement frictional forces at jewel pivot suspension of spindle of rotating disc and in counting and registering mechanism of energy meter are not only considerable in magnitude they are also non linear the magnitude of frictional forces become considerably higher for light load measurement when driving torque is relatively small and disc is rotating at a slower speed so such non linear and higher amount of frictional forces can cause considerable error in energy meter measurement especially at light load conditions so a constant additional driving torque opposite to frictional forces is provided to compensate error caused by frictional forces for frictional error compensation two adjustable short circuited loop of copper conductor are placed on two outer limb of this shunt magnet core structure and leakage flux of shunt magnet which is not passing to disc passes through these two leg set closed loops and induced emf by voltage coil flux in these leg set loop produce circulation of current and that current produce its own magnetic flux which is having a phase displacement from main flux of shunt magnet now these two flux of leg set loop current and main flux can produce a small driving torque in this disc to oppose all frictional torque tendencies and this adjustment of leg set loop is also known as light load adjustment in energy meter and the torque produced by these leg set loop to compensate frictional error of light load conditions can be adjusted by varying the position of these leg set loop on two side limbs and a proper adjustment of position can generate a driving torque to compensate frictional torque in energy meter and compensate error caused by frictional tendencies in energy meter creeping is also a concern in disc type energy meter sometimes this disc of energy meter makes slow but continuous rotation at no load that means the shunt magnet is excited by voltage but there is no load current so series magnet is not excited by any current and even with only one excitation flux the disc start slow and continuous rotation and this is called creeping in energy meter the cause of creep thing is over compensation for friction or sometimes excessive supply voltage also create problem of creeping some external stray magnetic field effect also can create effect of creeping now to prevent creeping two diametrical opposite holes are drilled in disc and with these holes even when light load adjustment has over compensated friction the disc won't make rotation more than half and cease its rotation when drilled hole come under brake magnet position at hole position there is no material so there won't be any path for eddy current in this hole position but due to variation in brake magnet flux during rotation induced emf circulate induced eddy current in closed loop around this loop and this circulation of eddy currents in a concentrated form around drilled hole produced a sufficient distortion of magnetic field distribution and generate magnetic polarity opposite to brake magnet polarity and for small amount of rotating torque this braking locking condition of eddy currents and brake magnet hold the rotation of disc and disc tends to remain stationary when any one of the hole comes under 
magnetic field of brake magnet so rotation is restricted to maximum of half a rotation by these hole position and this is called creeping adjustment energy meters are often installed in outdoor locations and are subjected to extreme temperature variation and variation of temperature can cause considerable amount of error in different positions related to measurement it can change resistance of disc or resistance of voltage coil or magnetic characteristic of magnetic circuit or strength of brake magnet all these variation have effect on driving torque and braking torque exerted on rotating disc some of these effect acts in counter position to other and to some extent compensate error caused by temperature effect we also take appropriate care in design and material selection of energy meter so as to eliminate error caused by temperature variation variation of supply voltage magnitude can also produce error in measurement the variation of voltage will change amount of current in shunt coil or flux produced by shunt magnet and that will affect driving torque on rotating disc and accuracy of measurement to reduce error in measurement the magnetic circuit of energy meter is properly designed to reduce effect of voltage variations in readings of energy meter recordings the driving torque on rotating disc of energy meter is directly proportional to amount of power or load current passing through energy meter and in case of overload conditions at increased power measurement disc will rotate at higher speeds and such higher speed operation of disc during overload conditions can cause overload error by self braking action of energy meter as rotating disc at high speed generate higher amount of eddy current in different working flux to produce self braking action so a compensator is required in the form of a saturable magnetic shunt in series magnet circuit and in case of overload conditions when this magnetic shunt can't get saturated by increased amount of series magnet flux more amount of flux will pass towards disc to produce higher amount of driving torque to compensate self braking action of energy meter during overload conditions testing of energy meter for its measuring accuracy and validation of that accuracy is called calibration now calibration of energy meter is done to reduce errors to minimum in energy metering now for accurate measurement of energy meter some adjustments are made in sequence during calibration and the sequence is initially preliminary light load adjustment is done that is afterwards repeated once again also after preliminary light load adjustment full load at unity power factor is tested then we test energy meter for full load and 0.5 lagging power factor conditions then finally light load at unity power factor condition is at tested and finally creep adjustment is tested let's elaborate this five step adjustment procedure for calibration of energy meter during assembly and testing and during operational condition checks during testing or energy meter first stage is preliminary light load adjustment we know that during light load conditions the torque produced in disc is insufficient to overcome higher frictional torque and in these light loaded conditions energy meter will read less than what exactly energy is passing through it so a compensation is required to overcome all frictional errors to adjust appropriateness of frictional error compensation the rated voltage is applied to potential coil and series magnet current coil is left unexcited with no current in current coil or load circuit and these light load device lag set on two side limbs of shunt magnets are adjusted in such a way that disc just start rotation against static frictional opposition in fact when voltage coil is excited it produce its time varying alternating flux and that flux in these side limbs produce time varying flux linkages and induced emf and ad current in these light load adjustment lag set loops and these loops will produce their own flux and the two flux one of main central core section of shunt magnet and the other 
further is flux produced by these lexet loops generate a small starting torque which is just enough to overcome the frictional torque in energy meter at the starting for preliminary light load adjustment starting torque in rotating disc can be adjusted just to equate required value by lateral movement of these lexet loops on two side limbs of shunt magnet but during this adjustment one care is followed in aluminium disc two holes are drilled to compensate creeping problem in energy meter so during light load adjustment those hole of disc should not take their position under breaking magnet after preliminary light load adjustment by leg sets on two side limbs full load unity power factor conditions are adjusted rated voltage supply is given to voltage coil and full load current at unity power factor is passed through current coil and position of brake magnet is adjusted to get accuracy in energy meter readings and this is called full load unity power factor adjustment after this adjustment low power factor adjustment or shedding band adjustment or leg error connection is done and for that pressure coil is given rated voltage current coil is given rated current but this time current lags voltage by 60 degree angle and at 0.5 lagging power factor we adjust position of this copper shedding band such a way that meter will make readings in tolerable error or desired accuracy so full load unity power factor adjustment require positioning of brake magnet and at 0.5 lagging power factor it require adjustment of copper shedding band after unity power factor adjustment by brake magnet and 0.5 lagging power factor adjustment by shedding band once again light load unity power factor adjustment is done rated voltage is given to shunt magnet voltage coil and light load of 5 to 10% of full load rated condition is passed through current coil at unity power factor and once again light load leg set loops are adjusted so that meter runs with required speed and desirable accuracy in measurement and finally when all adjustment by shedding band leg set and brake magnet has been done we check creep conditions in energy meter and for that pressure coil is excited by 110% voltage that means 10% excess than rated voltage with zero current in current coil or load circuit if all adjustment are proper then meter should not creep and if it make a little rotation less than half a rotation and a hole come under brake magnet position then it will stay there itself and meter should not creep under 110% voltage and no load conditions if some problem exist in any adjustment all these adjustments are done in the same sequence first full load unity power factor adjustment by brake magnet then 0.5 lagging power factor and full load by shedding band and light load adjustment by leg set and finally check of creeping condition and if meter indicates accuracy in desirable order for all those conditions then only a meter can be used for actual field services we have explained all probable errors in energy meter measurement and also indicated compensation or adjustment for accurate measurement by induction type energy meters and a sequence of preliminary light load adjustment then full load unity power factor adjustment by brake magnet followed by 0.5 lagging power factor full load condition testing and adjustment of copper shedding band and finally once again adjustment of lag set and check of creeping will ensure that induction type energy meter is ready for field services we appreciate your interest in viewing our videos and your efforts to promote our channel we end here only with a note of thanks to you all